All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to unbox and review a guitar from one of my favorite brands, Wolf Guitars. Now, I was just thinking about this the other day. Uh, what's weird is that I have reviewed a lot of the Wolf or AIO guitars, all-in-one guitars. Uh, I have reviewed a lot of those guitars, but I have never done an unboxing. And honestly, for a guitar, the unboxing is a really big deal because you want to know how well they package it, will it be uh, you know, safe and sound when it arrives to you in the mail. So today I have, I have waited to take this out of the box just so I could do it on camera and we can, you know, I can show you guys how the packaging is and everything. Now from the pictures I've looked at of this guitar and everything, it appears to be another really awesome shred guitar. I'm expecting it to be very high quality because the Wolf guitars you know, that I've gotten before have always been really nice. So I'm excited to crack open this bad boy and add this to my collection of awesome shred guitars, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my unboxing gear and we'll check it out. Okay guys, so first of all, I know, you know, or right off the bat, you're wondering what's going on? Why is this box in such good condition? Well, that's because I live in Los Angeles and this, this company ships stuff right from Los Angeles. So this box didn't have to travel very far. So of course it's in great condition. Now, obviously with everything going on in the world these days, you know, I wanna be careful. So I've got my face covering and I've got my gloves on. And let me just go ahead uh, and get my, my trusty uh, box opener right here, get this out. And we'll just give this nice pristine box. Now, I actually, I wanna try and keep this in good condition because it's, it's such a nice box. Uh, but I want to go ahead and just give this a little slice and dice on the end here and cut this tape. Okay, some tape there. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting, they use a combination of tape and staples on this box. So I've cut the tape there, and I hate to say it, but I uh, think I'm done with my sword for now. So I'm just going to put this down here where I'm not going not gonna to fall on it. And fortunately, I'm wearing my gloves, so I'm just going to go ahead and scoot this down a little bit. And now I can just grab this and, and pull it open here and just rip these staples off. Ugh. You know, I tell you, I don't know how many of you guys have actually tried to open a box wearing gauntlets, but it's actually kind of difficult. Maybe I'll try this corner instead, yeah. There we go. Just gotta get a grip on it. All right. Ah. And now there's more tape inside, so I'll get my, my box opener back again here and just cut this tape. Don't want to damage anything inside, yeah. Okay, got that one. Okay, now I think I can start to pull this out here and let's we'll see what we've got. Ugh. I got a little some plastic bubble wrap on here. A little more bubble wrap. Okay. All right, now we're getting to it. So we've got a secondary box inside the big box. Okay, and there's some nice cardboard to uh, keep the little box from sliding around. I got that out. Let's see if I can pull this out. All right, now we're talking. Okay, so as you can see, guys, they do a really good job with the packaging. I mean, this is very well protected, but, uh, you know, they also put a lot of stuff inside the big box just to keep things from shifting around in there. Okay, so now, to my great joy, I've got a little bit more tape to cut here. Okay, just a little bit of a nice sawing motion. Nothing too drastic. There we go. Okay. I think that's it. Let's get this plastic. You're free now, plastic. All right, guys. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's open up this box and reveal the guitar. So there's a little bit more uh, 
you know, more packaging in here. We'll have to open up, no problem. They're using that nice kind of foam, uh, little foam bag kind of wrapping on the guitar. And there's some extra tape. Also, another cool thing, I'll tip this up so you can see this. They've got a special thing here, which is to protect the toggle switch. That's a nice touch right there. Okay, so let me take off this extra piece of tape here. Okay, and the toggle switch protector came off with tape. Now let's just take this little rubber band piece off here. If I can grab it. There we go. And now we can remove the foam plastic. Ah, yes. That is looking good. Oh, this looks like it belongs in a museum somewhere. We'll ever so gently pick this up. Look at this guitar. Guys, this is incredible. This is, it's a walnut top there. Okay, beautiful dark walnut. And it's a neck through design, as you can see. Man, they really do an amazing job with these neck through guitars. But the guitar seems safe. Everything looks safe here. I think I can go ahead and take my, my unboxing gear off. Let's get this thing out. Whew. Man, I'm burning up like, like it's an oven in there. Man, when you're wearing that thing, every day's a bad hair day. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really want to take these off. These are pretty metal, but it's going to be hard to play guitar with these things on. So let me get these off. All right, guys, we've got the box open. Now let's take a closer look at this guitar. And look at this thing. This guitar has some serious wood. I mean, the top is walnut. The, uh, the neck itself on the inside here is maple. And then it's got ash on the inside. The, the wings of the body on the inside is ash. It's even got a walnut piece on top of the headstock here. And, of course, a beautiful rosewood fretboard with 24 frets. No inlays, which always looks kind of classy, you know. Floyd Rose style double locking tremolo. We've got a five-way switch. And of course, an amazing hum, single hum uh, pickup setup here. So we should be able to get a really nice variety of tones from this guitar. Now, one of the early Wolf guitars I checked out, it might have been the, the second one, or maybe second or third. Uh, that was the Wolf TC1, which is a Tele style guitar, but it's made with the the same sort of construction where it's a beautiful neck through with the walnut and everything. Really, really nice guitar. This is sort of the shred super strat version of this guitar. And I know what you guys might be thinking here. If you look in the back, I've got another really, really cool Wolf super strat type guitar. Again, 24 frets and also neck throughs. But this one here, instead of walnut, it's using a beautiful uh, piece of maple on the top and maple on the back. Really, really cool. And of course, a slightly different pickup configuration as well. This one here, I actually swapped in a dual rail uh, humbucker into the, into the neck position, which is funny because now I have this one, which already has a humbucker in the neck position. So that's gonna be great. Okay, so this thing looks incredible, but the question is always, does it sound and play as good as it looks? So I'll go ahead and give you guys the uh, sound samples and a playing demo right now, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about my impressions of playing the guitar once I've, once I've plugged it in and played it, okay? But now, real quick, guys, as always, if you enjoy videos and you enjoy content like this and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, now let's go ahead and plug this in right now, and like I said, I'll try and give you a bunch of uh, different tones and go through a bunch of the different pickup settings on this guitar, all right? Let's check it out.
All right, guys, so right off the bat, when I was playing this guitar, I can tell you that I really like the sound of this guitar. In particular, the, uh, the neck pickup position is really, really nice. It's, it's very sweet and sort of glassy, but without being too plink plink sounding. I think really all the pickup settings have a very harmonically rich sound to them. Now, as far as the controls themselves, we've got a five-way selector switch down here, and we've got a single volume and a single tone. Now, one thing that's cool about the pickup arrangement here, or the pickups, I should say, uh, in this guitar, you've got a middle pickup, right? You've got a humbucker, middle, humbucker arrangement, and the, uh, the middle pickup, you can adjust the height of it. And honestly, sometimes I don't like middle position pickups, because they stick up kind of high and I have a tendency to hit them when I'm picking. I hit them with my pick, right? But this pickup here, you can adjust it down low enough where you're never going to hit it with your pick. Now, as far as the playability of the guitar, I mean, it's really responsive, really smooth. This is sort of like a uh, C or a D shape neck. And it, this, is, this is a fairly substantial neck, uh, you know, substantial feeling for a shred guitar. So it's very, very comfortable, but it's not super, super thin. You know, it's not like Ibanez Wizard thin or anything like that. It still, uh, you know, fills the hand nicely. Now, the other thing, obviously, this guitar has a satin finish all over the guitar, and that includes, of course, the back of the neck. So that's going to add to that really smooth, really comfortable feeling. Also, the fretboard has a 14-inch radius on it. So it's, you know, a nice kind of middle ground between round and flat. Now let's talk about the hardware. First of all, up here, we've got a nice set of black Grover tuners. Down here, we've got a licensed Floyd Rose uh, style tremolo. And one thing about this, not all licensed uh, trims are made the same. I mean, they're not all made to the same quality. This one uh, seems really, really nice. A, it holds tuning really well, and B, uh, the adjustment, you know, the fine tuners down here are really, really smooth. They even feel better than most Floyd specials, I think. I had a Kramer Striker back in the day that had a licensed Floyd on it that was really, really nice, and this one kind of feels the same. Now, something kind of interesting, this guitar, the, uh, the Wolf S1, is available with a few different hardware and pickup options. Uh, you know, like I mentioned before, this one back here, with the, uh, with the maple top on it, this has like the hum single-single arrangement, and then this has a Floyd Rose Special on it. So some of them have a Floyd Rose Special, some of them have a licensed Floyd Rose. And one more thing that's cool about the licensed version, this might be a big advantage for some people, is that this has a push-in arm on it, so that the bar just pushes in and out, and then you can adjust the tension down here, rather than the screw-on collar. Now, a lot of the, the Floyd Specials, with the ones with the screw-on collar, I usually sometimes end up replacing the bar later on because they can you know, they don't always fit real tight and they can kind of clank and clatter around. But when you have the push-in arm, this really just eliminates any problems like that. And uh, this bridge has it, in it and a lot of the, the nicer Schechter guitars are doing that now. But those guitars tend to be more expensive than, than this one here. Now, as usual, like the other Wolf and the AIO stuff, the setup on this guitar is killer. That's something that they are really known for, is having really, really good setup. So, you know, the, the truss rod, the action, the frets, you know, they're all crowned and shaped really nicely. So there's no buzzing or anything like that. Very low action on this guitar. So it's, it's really a true shred guitar in that regard. You've got a nice low action, 24 frets, double locking tremolo humbuckers. I mean, this is, you know, neck through, beautiful neck through design. This is really a guitar that you can just really blaze on. Now, I will say one thing about this guitar to kind of watch out for. This is probably not a good choice if you are looking for a first guitar. If you're a beginner and you're, you're literally getting your first guitar, this is probably not gonna be a great option for you for two reasons. One is that there are no fret markers. Now, there are little dots up on the top of the fretboard, but there's, there's no markers on the fretboard itself on the surface here. And when you're first learning guitar, sometimes having those fret markers really helps out, you know, if you're looking for like the, the fifth fret or the seventh fret or, you know, the frets where those markers are on there. If you're watching an instructional video or something like that, having the fret markers on there does make it easier when you're learning. Now, the other reason is I never recommend any guitar with a double locking tremolo as a first guitar for somebody. The string changes take longer. If you adjust the string gauge, you have to make some adjustments with the springs in the back of the guitar. If you break a string, it's kind of a hassle. So 
if you if you are out there looking for a first guitar and you're interested in the Wolf or AIO guitars, something I think like the uh, like the WLP series, which is like a single cutaway. There's no tremolo and it has fret markers, and it's still a really really beautiful, really solid guitar. But actually, I would love to hear from you guys. Is there anybody out there whose first guitar had you know, a Floyd Rose style double locking tremolo. Did it cause problems for you or am I just kind of imagining this in my head? Now these guitars, the Wolf S1, uh, both with the walnut top and also the nice uh, maple top here, these both go for a little over 500 bucks. I think they're going for about 529 right now. And honestly, this is a lot of guitar for that kind of money. I mean, you've got some nice hardware on it, beautiful construction. I mean, guys, just, you know, look at the neck through on this. I mean, there are not a lot of guitars in this price range that offer such nice construction like this. All right, guys, so as usual, I'm going to put a bunch of links down in the video description below where you can find this guitar. And I'm also going to have a link down there for my new instructional video. It's a 1980s style guitar instructional video, and I've got a 50% off link down there. So please check that out. All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.